Hello, today we will study about quadrilaterals, type of quadrilaterals and area of quadrilaterals. Last time we had done about triangle, a, side, a figure which has got three sides, this has got three sides, this is called as a triangle. If you talk about area of this triangle, if you got a height over here, this is the name of this triangle is A, B, C and the height is D. So the area of triangle A, B, C will be half into base into height. This is what the area of this triangle will be. So the base will be BC into the height will be AD. This is what we get area of this triangle. If you got an obtuse angle, where well, this is what most of the students make a mistake. This is what an obtuse angle, this is triangle A, B, C. Where the height will be of this triangle, the height will come somewhere over here. This is what you call as the height. So this is height is AD. What will be the area of this triangle? The area of this triangle will be, that is area of triangle A, B, C. Same formula, half into base into height. So what do you get over here? Half. Now what is your base? Your base is not DC, but your base is BC. So your base will be BC. And height will be the same, that is AD. This is what is area of acute angle, the area of an obtuse angle. You got one more formula, that is called as Heron's formula. Suppose if you get a triangle this way, this is what a triangle over here. You do not have the height over here. You know this side as A, this side as B, and this side as C. You know all the three sides, then we use something called as Heron's formula. What does Heron's formula say? This is Heron's formula. What does Heron's formula say? That is area of triangle ABC is equal to square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. What is your S? S is called as the semi-perimeter. Before telling about this perimeter, I'll tell you what I mean by perimeter. In the simplest way, the perimeter is sum of all the sides. So what will be the semi-perimeter? That is this side, this side, this side. All the sides, that is A plus B plus C upon 2. This is semi-perimeter. A is one side, B is the other side, C is the other side. So basic formula, that is area of a triangle ABC with Haraz formula. This is what you get. Area of a triangle, that is for an acute angle, half into base into head, this is your base. For an obtuse angle, this is what your base is, that is half into base into height. This is with the triangle. Now we'll do with quadrilaterals, the basic quadrilaterals. The very first thing comes in your mind is parallelogram. This is what you get your parallelogram. Now see how we'll, we'll make groups. This is what a parallelogram over here. This is parallelogram. After parallelogram, then you can go with a rectangle. This is rectangle. On the other side of a rectangle, you go with a rhombus. And then you can go down over here, with, that is with a square. Now I have made this. Whatever the properties will be there with parallelogram, the same property will be with rectangle, with rhombus and with square. Whatever the properties are with rectangle and rhombus, that will be, but what happens? This is a small boy, then this are young boys, this is an old man. Whatever the properties were with the young boy, with the child, are there with the young boys. And the, whatever the properties are there with the young boys, are always there with the old man. So basic properties with a parallelogram, we say opposite sides are parallel and congruent. So this is your first property. Over here we also see opposite sides are parallel and congruent, opposite sides are parallel and congruent, opposite sides are parallel and congruent. The second one we have over here that is the, about the diagonals. Diagonals goes very very important. The diagonals bisect each other. I think you know what you mean by bisect. Bisect in, that is cutting into two equal parts that is called as bisect. The diagonals bisect each other. What do you mean by this is this and this part is congruent. This part and this part is congruent. That is the diagonals bisect each other. That is the properties of parallelogram. Opposite angles are congruent. That is again a property over here. 
But the diagonal property goes very important. That is a diagonal bisect each other. Then we'll go with rectangle. The same property will come with rectangle. Opposite sides are parallel and congruent. Diagonal bisect each other. What is extra? What is extra is this. That is the diagonals are congruent. The diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. The meaning of this, if this diagonal is 6, this diagonal will be also how much? 6. That is, the diagonals are congruent. These two properties will come over here. That is, opposite sides are parallel and congruent. Diagonals bisect each other. You will get one more extra, which I think everybody knows. That is, each angle measures 90 degrees. That is, each angle measures 90 degrees. If you go on this side, these two properties will come over here. Opposite sides are parallel and congruent. Diagonals bisect each other. What extra? The extra in this is diagonals are perpendicular bisector. Bisectors to be already said. So we get extra over here. That is the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. And one more. That is all the sides of a rhombus are congruent. That is all sides are Congruent. This is what you get for the rhombus. For the square, you don't have to think whatever comes in your mind. All your properties, this one, this two, this three, this four, this five. Tell all the properties, whichever the properties are that tell all the properties. Opposite sides are congruent, opposite sides are parallel, each angle measures 90 degree, diagonals are congruent, diagonals are perpendicular, diagonals bisect each other. All the properties you can tell for a square. Only for parallelogram, you should take care, there will be less properties. Some extra properties will be with RR, that is rhombus and rectangle, and all the properties will be there for square. Now, you got something different from this family, is a trapezium. This is what you call as a trapezium A, B, C, this is B. In trapezium, one side is parallel and the other side is non-parallel. That is, you can say that it's AB will be parallel to CD, and AD is not parallel. Because if the opposite sides are parallel, then it goes with parallelogram. If one side is parallel, the other side is not parallel, then it is a trapezium. We call this as a trapezium. Now, we will study the area of all. Before that, we will go with perimeter. What do you mean by perimeter? Simple way, perimeter means sum of all the sides. This side, this side, this side, all add all the sides, that is perimeter. Over here, this is your length, this is your breadth, that is two length plus two breadth. If you go with your sides as A, 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 that is A plus A plus A plus A. Over here, side, we say side, 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 four times side, that is four side. Basically, you should keep in your mind, that is perimeter means sum of all the sides. You need to just add all the sides, that is what we call in geometry is as perimeter. Now, we will do with areas, areas of all. What is an area of a parallelogram? I just put it over here. Area of a parallelogram, it's very simple. We get away the formula is base into height. This is what your base, the height will be given over here. So it is base into height. This is the area of a parallelogram. Area of a rectangle, again, this is very easy. It is length into breadth. That is, the length into breadth is your area of a rectangle. What is an area of a rhombus? Area of a rhombus is equal to half into diagonal 1, into diagonal 2. That is diagonal, this is your first diagonal, this is your second diagonal, that is area of a rhombus is equal to half into D1 into D2. Area of a square, it's very simple, area of a square is equal to side square. Area of a square, that is side square. What do you mean by area of a trapezium? Area of a trapezium is equal to half, into sum of the parallel side. This are your parallel side. That is sum of the parallel side is AB plus CD into the height. Suppose this is what you get your height. Into the height that is AB. And this is what you get is called as an area of a trapezium. So basically, this are your basic part. That is parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, square. This is from one family. Trapezium goes with the other one. Hope you understood with correlators. If you like the way I'm teaching, please give a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.